think we will start now. Uh, this is the diagram I have also given in the last class. We have seen in mixed flow reactor how easily one can find out uh, the relationship between temperature and uh, conversion. Okay, there is no trial and error involved. Devayan, class now or yeah? Why there is no trial and error involved in uh, mixed flow reactor? Huh? Yeah, what happened to third variable? Yeah, because of the space, you know, it is a lumped parameter system, right? Yeah, because of its lumping parameter system, that is why that uh, changes in the space is they have disappeared. So, that is why it became only two parameter problem, two variables that is temperature and conversion. So, normally you know conversion, you can calculate temperature from the temperature and conversion you can calculate volume of the reactor, but there is some other problem there when you just observe the equations what we have written earlier for uh, for q g and k uh, q r, what is the equation we have written for q g? Tell me minus delta h r, uh -huh. not that final expression minus delta h r c n r. V, yeah, ah, whole thing divided by 1 by k plus 1. Ah, 1 plus 1 by k plus 1. No, no. I think in terms of e power and all that we have written. E power e by rt by k naught plus no. that is the equation. Right? Volume. Ah, yeah, volume must be there. Volume here? Yes, volume. Right, right. So, volumetric flow rate has come into V, so uh, tau. So, that will not be there. That equation I do not have, that is why I am asking you. Because I have slightly complicated equation. This is the simple equation. Okay, this is capital V. Right? Of course, here again you have volume by volumetric flow rate. So, both are there. So, now this is the one q g uh, q g what was the equation number? 14 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. 14. Okay. So, heat generation heat removal line was this is same what we have. Yeah. F a naught C p or otherwise yeah, you tell me what is the equation I have given there? That also I have slightly different. Heat removal rate. Ah, summation of F i C P i plus U A that is bracket there into T temperature minus sigma F i C P i. Ah, yeah, sigma F i C P i T naught plus U A T C plus U A T C. So, this is the equation bracket right. Yeah. So, this is equation 15. So, under operation these two q g must be equal to q r because for steady state right, but we are talking about only steady state uh, mixed flow reactor. So, this is what what we have plotted we separately plotted equation 14 uh, here this is q g and you have q r lines because this is a straight line this is y equal to m x plus uh, type, this is y, this is m, all this is x. Okay? So, that is why you will have also this negative, uh, you know this uh, intercept okay, minus and you have u a, f i c p i and your slope depends on this. Okay? Good. Now, let us look at these points like where you have uh, these three for this and one here and one here. Let us start with this uh, lowest one where we have uh, yeah at this point at this point if i just look at right and by chance let us say this is operating at 20 degree centigrade it is operating at low temperatures because temperature is increasing in this let us say we have 100 uh, 20 degree centigrade and let us say because of the flow fluctuation because you know you could have seen uh, either uh, volumetric flow rate when you are measuring 
if you are using uh, okay what is what are the instruments you use for measuring flow rates rotometer rotometer venturimeter or pace meter yeah what do you measure in venturimeter and rotometer rotometer pressure pressure i don't know whether you looked at those pressure uh, you know the manometer particularly when you are using always that will be fluctuating a little bit okay slightly like this like this yeah if that fluctuation causes maybe 1 degree in this direction positive that means 20 it is operating but it is going to 21 our question is when you have the 21 that means there is a disturbance from the temperature okay yeah, this is the point what you get if i solve those two equations okay under this uh, conditions right so under these conditions if i carefully look at that if there is one temp one degree temperature this way then uh, the temperature is increasing right so naturally what should happen to rate of reaction it should increase when rate of reaction is increasing what what should happen to heat release it is exothermic yeah also it is exothermic okay so temperature should increase so when so by the way if you don't have exothermic you will never get this shape right yeah and uh, uh, yeah once the temperature is increasing then is the temperature goes on increasing or will it uh, subside again come back to this why it come back why it comes back temperature is increasing that means qg line is increasing okay the point in the qg line is increasing so you have at uh, 20 degrees 21 degrees temperature increase rate of reaction increases heat release increases and uh, it will try to go on this line but what is happening this heat removal the moment it crosses a little bit what is heat removal is it is less than uh, qg or less than qr so or, uh, or uh, greater than uh, qg yeah so then what should happen now when it is heat removal is more than heat generated temperature should come down to because there is only one state so at that point so it should come back to that particular point a similarly even here it is falling a little bit the temperature by some reason because if volumetric flow rate is suddenly increased also it may fall right that, that means more heat is now taken by the convection yeah no tc also suddenly increases it may fall so but even then heat removal line will be yeah yeah here heat generation will be less and uh, heat removal is you know at this point when you come back uh, heat removal will be less and heat generation will be more if i draw a line i mean i'm not able to draw that line i will explain that one to you okay there also so then again it starts heating and then goes only to this point so whether i move in this line direction or here it is small in this direction the stable point is only this one right so when it is reducing like for example uh, when the temperature is falling falling down okay the temperature should uh, the rate of reaction must be less so heat generation must be less okay so then ah uh, but but when i move this way here you see this point i have less than this qg is less qg at this point below okay qg is less so when qg sorry this is qr qr is less when qr is less then what should happen again okay it came to 19 right but heat removal is less so then what should happen temperature temperature should increase so that means again it will move to this direction forward direction yeah so that is why even if there are slight disturbances around this point absolutely no problem okay now let us do let us talk about this particular uh, case i think here you can easily see that yeah same argument here so when i am moving let us say it is 100 degree centigrade and it move to 105 okay more change so when 105 it is going then the rate of reaction should increase right heat release must increase temperature must increase so it it will definitely move on this direction but now if i draw a line here then heat removal is more than heat generated so what will happen again it will come back to this state similarly here it moved till this point 95 right heat generated is more heat removal is less so temperature should 
increase. So, again it will move to this point. So, that is why even this point also will be steady. It may be fluctuating around this, but it will be only on that point. I do not know whether you have discussed this in your uh, process control. Okay, huh? Uh, yeah, mathematical methods may be, yeah, uh, you would have for steady states. Yeah, this is one of the very good examples for, uh, you know, in chemical engineering steady states, okay, uh, the reactor steady states. And, uh, okay, so now uh, this we understood it is steady state and this we understood it is steady state. Now, when I have this kind of situation, so we have three points here. Now, just try to find out what is happening at C. C also same argument because when the temperature is moving this way, okay, yeah, slightly when it is a, a temperature is moving this way, so heat generation will be more, but heat removal is more than heat generated, much more than heat generated. So again, it will come back. That means there is no difference between A and C. Similarly, you can also discuss here. I, when I am moving here, okay, when I draw this one slightly further. Yeah, when I am moving this side, heat removal is more and heat generated is more. Even though there is a change in temperature and uh, the temperature is trying to increase and heat generation will increase and uh, you know the temperature anyway try to go on this way, QG will increase. But at this point, again QR is greater than QG. So, that means again it has to come back. Same thing here again. When it comes back here, then heat removal is less and heat generated is more. So, it will move on this line and then stabilize there. So, A, C, E, B or A, B and uh, C, E, there is no problem when the reactor is operating at those temperatures. Okay? Now, without knowing you are at this point, now the argument must be very easy. right? So, let us say this is around 75 degrees centigrade. It went to 76, right? this way, right? this way. So, now the, the moment it went this way, so that means I am somewhere here. Okay? I am somewhere here. So, then what is the heat generated line? This one. What is heat removed? This one. So, now what should happen to the temperature? It will again increase more temperature. That means more rate of reaction, more heat release, more temperature increase. So, you will go here till because always here QR is less, QG is more till it reaches this particular point. Similarly, here it is same thing. The moment you move this side, heat removal is more, heat generated is less. So, more and more heat is removed, heat generated is not that much because you know this is the point and this is the point, this is the point and this is the point. So, that means it becomes more and more cooling, temperature will fall. Again, but there is a next steady state that is here, let us see. Right? So, that is why this particular point D is called unstable point or metastable point. So, D is metastable or okay, A, B, C, E stable points and D is unstable. In fact, the first chapter of, uh, you know, there is a book uh, process control by Stephanopoulos. Yeah, to justify why chemical engineers must uh, read process control, he gives this example. Okay? Why should we read process control? Right? So, in the normal way, when uh, even if you do not have control here, no problem for me. Why? Because if there is a disturbance, it goes away, but again comes back because of the conditions here. So, why do I need a control? I do not need a control. Right? So, but here definitely I need a control. Right? So, why I need a control? Uh, let us say my uh, uh, the, the reaction temperature what I calculated was 75 and 75 is this one, but I do not know the, because of this 14, 15 uh, non-linearity, you will get when I solve this, I will get these three points here. That means, three solutions you get for that mathematically speaking. So, that is what is shown here. Whereas, under these conditions th that depends on what kind of slope you have what kind of flow rates you have, what kind of C A naught and uh, uh, you know yeah, what else yeah, delta H R, all these things will come into picture. So, that is why theoretically speaking, I can draw Q G, but
by varying all those variables like for example, tau changing q g alone forget about the other one we will come back because just as a mathematical exercise how many parameters I have there temperature is anyway I am plotting here q g is here the other parameter k naught is constant e is constant and for a given system delta h r also is a constant then it will change with volumetric flow rate right of course normally the stability and all that will come once you have the reactor right but even if when you are designing a new reactor the procedure is this you have calculated using uh, the method what we have discussed in the last class what was the method write the energy ba material balance write the energy balance and energy balance is very simple because there is no trial and error involved for mixed flow reactor so then calculate uh, temperature for given conversion take this temperature and conversion to design equation okay design equation is v by f naught equal to x a by minus r a minus r a has this t and x right so then calculate v so now you know you also know the for that particular temperature what is t that is the first step what you have done right now from energy balance t you have calculated for a given x now the question comes whether that temperature is stable or not that's why this analysis is required right so, um, how you have to do is uh, uh, people who really like mathematics they simply go for these equations and try to find out by trial and error okay? uh, or using some method to find out whether uh, there is uh, you know, only one solution or more number of solutions. Okay? And this is, okay, I also have to write it is simple reversible, uh, sorry, yeah, irreversible exothermic reaction okay? for this case. Again, the moment I go to irreversible, sorry, this is the irreversible, uh, reversible, and also if I go to A going to R, R going to S, right? So, endothermic, all the cases will be different. Good. So, now the criteria given for necessary condition, okay, by the way, I think uh, you know this point A will happen, point A, and point A no one would like to operate, why? Huh? conversion is very very small okay corresponding to this because temperature is very very small right so conversion also will be very very small so that is the reason why normally we don't want to operate but here we would like to operate so for that reason sometimes you have to move the t naught correct no t naught values so that is why by taking this equation t naught is here for different t naughts and for fixing you know normally we don't change tc once you fix TC and once you fix the heat exchanger, this is constant, right? And for a given flow rate and all that, this is constant. Only T you can vary and then draw various lines. All will be parallel. Why parallel? Because slope is not changing. But T naught, depending on that, that is also important for us because all this is happening because of T naught also, right? So I may have if I fix T naught like this one line, another line like this another line like this okay this also possible another line like that all that i have to do so now when i am doing all this the slope is falling correct no yeah and also uh, yeah uh, the operating temperature will be increasing because when i put here and then draw this line i am talking about if i fix this right and also it is definitely better to avoid this point because if I fix this point, I have to draw a line like this. Otherwise, it will touch here. Correct, no? It should not touch here. Right? This line, QG line. The moment it touches, then you have a solution there. So, to avoid that, you, you draw the number of uh, lines with T0 as parameter, and then you will have an idea of where you have to fix that temperature, T0. Okay? Good. Fine. So, now, yeah, the conditions for A, conditions for A are uh, one, low K value, K means a reaction rate constant or two, it can be low tau, low tau and it also can be small delta H R. And also, it can be small 
V into C A naught, V into C A T is nothing but F A naught. Okay. So, it also can happen with low T C okay, or it can also happen large large uh, U uh, large U A or separately U or A also. Correct no? All these are common sense now once you understand that. Why? Because low k will give me low conversion. Low tau also will give me. Okay, why? Why low tau gives you low conversion? Because the time is less. Because time is not provided sufficient time. time. Then small delta h r because heat release it's itself is not much. So the the temperature is very very low because heat release is not that much temperature. So again low conversions and small v into C n r. F A naught, okay. F A naught is small. <coughs> again, again, uh, that is low. Then you will have low T C. That means I am removing too much heat. Uh, T C low means so naturally you will have low temperatures, so low conversions and large U A. Large U A again will remove lot of heat, okay. And exactly opposite points are opposite of A is what? Point E, exactly opposite. Then only you will get that kind of thing. That means, if you know that your uh, values, delta H R values are large, your K value is large, and uh, you are not using that much U A, so then you may expect this condition. Okay, good. So in between, yeah, I mean, unfortunately, sometimes you have to fix only this condition because even though this gives me more uh, conversion, if I draw a line here, temperature may be, let us say, 175. And that 175 will spoil my product. Okay, so that means there may be side reactions, or that may be it may be charred because it depends on again you know what kind of products you are dealing with. So the physical properties of the uh, reactants and products. So that will also once uh, our ignition point, you know there is a flash point where it may catch fire beyond certain uh, point. So all this will happen here. And I don't know whether you have observed this. How many of you used Bunsen burner? Bunsen burner. Only used burner, ah? Not for cooking, for doing experiments, I believe. Yeah, Bunsen burner only three, ah? Eh? But rest me, you have never used Bunsen burner. Used it, but the question is so stupid, so that's why you don't want to say anything. Eh? Yeah, because you have used, but did you observe something peculiar there? Can you stabilize the flame? When do you stabilize the? At low flow rate. Low flow rate is this. You cannot, because there must be a balance between the amount of uh, you know the gas coming, and also the temperature that is able to sustain. There must be a balance. If you also use too much uh, gas, you know th that also not sustainable. If you use too less gas, then that is also not sustainable. Okay, that means. You are somewhere here, right? But if you uh, if you if you correctly use the amount of uh, gas and also you know th there must be oxygen supply also. That's why you have the, in the bottom there are two holes, no? Two or three holes, I think. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Did you observe, no? That uh, one at the bottom. That is only for oxygen to enter. So that sucking, if it is not that much, then it cannot stabilize. So that means there is there must be a balance between amount of oxygen, amount of fuel, and then. It will sustain for long time. Otherwise, you send too much oxygen, too low fuel, it won't. Vice versa, too much oxygen, but very I mean, sorry, the, uh, yeah, too much fuel and less oxygen again, it won't sustain. Right? And how many of you? It's a bad question. Smoke? None of you. Oh, all good boys and girls, sir. Huh? Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Nowadays, girls also happily smoke. You see in TVs and all that. And I think in Hyderabad there are many pubs. It seems where you go and ask why are you smoking means what is wrong if I smoke? Nothing is wrong. Nothing will happen. Only your uh, lung will disappear after some time. That's all. I think okay. Yeah. Anyway, any smoke of any kind for lung is very bad. 
lung does not like smoke, it only likes oxygen. Okay? Good, anyway. So, uh, when you are using matchstick, matchstick, right, when you hit like this, particularly rainy season and all that, will it catch fire? Okay. When it is not catching fire, you are under what uh, condition here on this line? The lowest condition. That means, here practically you do not have any reaction. Okay. And then, you may again strike and then wait for some time without even shaking and all that, then it catches fire. And also, that phosphorus uh, which is at the tip of this match take, it will also make some peculiar sound like that. Okay. So, when you have isthesis, that isthesis sound can, can take you either to this point or this point. Right? I think you know, you do not know, this is an experiment what you can do. In Bunsen burner you may not get in your house. Okay? So, you can buy a matchstick and then go on experimenting on this, whether it is really you know this point. Right? You know, sometimes when you strike, you will get spark, but it will not catch fire. That means, temporarily you are at this point. And nowadays, I think not nowadays, in this season, all of you are going to destroy your environment because of Deepavali. Correct? No? Diwali. Uh, you, you burn a lot of crackers. I feel, I think practically you are burning money. That is all, nothing else. I think it is waste. As chemical engineers, no one should do that. Why? Pollution. Bhayankaram pollution. I think, in fact, I think you, know, you should not. <laughs> yeah. And uh, you, you also find out, you know, the moment you, uh, if you are stand, uh, standing there, you know, some many people may get wheezing and all that. Right? So, there also, you know, normally we have that, uh, yeah, that crackers, red ones, and uh, Lakshmi is very, very. La, la, Lakshmi cracker huh? is, uh, is very, very you know, sound, lot of sound it gives. And there are other things also, they tie with something and then also, what do you call that? That is called atom bomb, huh? the atom bomb without atoms there. Okay. <laughs> okay. So, that one also will give you. So, then what do we do? We will put that here and then go to <laughs> like this. You take over that very big uh, stick, you know, with that uh, fire at there and then slowly put. But I think, yeah, yeah. I mean, you, you are afraid that suddenly it may blow up. So, that is why you just touch and then come, touch and then come. So, that is why it may start, stop, stop, <laughs> like that it may go, <laughs> because that fuse is there outside, right. Till uh, that means, there must be a sustainable uh, fire in the fuse itself. Then the fuse goes and then opens up, okay. And why should it give a lot of sound? Yeah, what is what is the simple uh, formula they use there in making crackers? There is an equation, beautiful equation that is involved here. Huh? Yeah, what? I'm just asking only equation. No explanation. Yeah, what equation? E is equal to mc square. He said only E equal to mc square and you are telling E equal to mc square plus x a plus x b plus x c. See how sad it is you know that means we are studying in the this is high school question. Okay? Simply it is P V equal to R T. That is all. P V equal to R T, nothing else. And we, we I think till now 25 years we have uh, burnt so many crackers without knowing what is the formula behind that. Okay? Anyway, at the age of 2, 3, 4, 5, you may not know. But once you go to school, you should know that equation P V equal to R T. Why it is P V equal to R T? Volume is kept constant. Okay, that is not moving. Yeah, and uh, temperature is increased, right? So P V equal to R T, volume constant, R is constant, temperature is increased because of explosion. Then what will happen to pressure? Pressure should increase. But you are having that uh, you know either papers or some kind of threads and all that around that. But you know if you have too much uh, threading and where it is not at all able to crack that, then you don't get any sound. Really, you do not get any sound. So, that means, that pressure it is able to contain. Like you know, ammonia reactor. Ammonia reactor, thickness of the reactor is 
I think you know it is uh, uh, 4 inches, 5 inches steel, right. So, it would not explode. If it explodes, that is I think 1000 times a Lakshmi cracker, okay, because 500 atmospheres, correct, no, no, 350 atmospheres sir, or 250 atmospheres, okay, that will be very high. So, that is the reason why that PV equal to RT, that is why in Lakshmi cracker, you will have slightly tougher, more number of papers. That smallest one is the red one. Okay. So, that would not give that much sound. So, some people I think people like merit and all that they will have hold it in hand and then <laughs> crack. <laughs> Not afraid at all, he is a bold guy. So, that is the reason why you know no problem at all. There are some more things you know that red small things, caps are something they call. That red very small one I think uh, uh, maybe 5 mm, 6 mm diameter and inside you have small thing and you take one stone and then heat it. Okay. So, uh, I am training, I am giving training, I am giving training for you for Diwali. <laughs> okay. <laughs> what are the fundas? <laughs> so, you put that and then take a stone and then hit it as if you know it is a great thing and no one will hear except you. Uh, so, sound is so small because explosion is so small, but still it gives sound because of the pressure you know which you are creating. Uh, what is Swami? Cracking something there, cracking <laughs> jokes only. Yeah. Gun, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. But gun is also mechanical, it is not purely chemical. <laughs> gun is mechanical, right? Yeah, when bullet is leaving, what is that? Same thing said to me from the road, paper road, and keep it inside a gun. Ah, yeah, that is okay. I mean, yeah. That also because pressure you are applying there. No, I thought he is talking about real gun. Oh, okay, good. So, all these things are happening. So, that is why you are getting more and more sound. So, now if someone asks why Lakshmi gives more uh, sound than uh, the some other that small one. Small one is called what? Huh? That uh, no, not the round one, that uh, same cylinder type and then small one. Pencil. Cracker only. No, oh, pencils and all that no sound, no, only light. See, all our Diwali things is either sound or light. Yeah, you will have pencils and you will have Sudarshan chakras. So, all kinds of, but the poor fellows they do not make noise. They will only make light. Okay. So, that is what I think you know, even this, this particular uh, car is also responsible for that MIC disaster. No MIC disaster in Bhopal. Yeah, chemical engineers can be really dangerous. They can kill many people. Civil engineer, if he kills, I think only building falls. Arya, okay. So all of us, how many? Sixty people may not be there in the world. Okay, if it falls, or maybe some more people down. Okay. <laughs> so next, <laughs> dean's room and all that. I think just below this only dean's room is there. Okay, all these things may happen. But you know, if gas leaks and then you know you cannot stop uh, breeze, you know. So wherever it goes, it kills. You know what has happened there at that time? There was that MIC stored, right? And uh, it's a catalytic reaction. It seems in the presence of water, uh, the reaction is much faster. Water by mistake or so, water entered. So reaction started, and it is highly exothermic reaction. So the moment water, small amount of water has gone, and reaction started then temperature is increased. So, that temperature again uh, you know, heat released because exothermic reaction temperature increased that temperature increased again rate of reaction. So, that uh, rate of reaction again created more temperature it goes on building because there was a lot of MIC stored. But unfortunately, if that kind of things happen they should have a safety wall that safety wall did not open. So, but it is a concrete tank right, but the pressure inside is so much like these crackers. So, then it burst. Okay. If that uh, tank is very, very strong, it could have not happen. You know, if that uh, concrete tank, if it is very, very strong, it could have not happen. That is why, if you go to this uh, nuclear power plants, the thickness of the walls, where they are 3 meters, 4 meters, 5 meters, depending on the amount of fuel you put there, thick. Okay. And that much is required because I think those uh, radioactivity should not diffuse again through concrete. I think that is why civil engineers also study diffusion of concrete through porous media like you know this concrete. And those people who are 
doing this construction uh, or that uh, structural engineering concrete and all that they also study that diffusion because that should not come out right so all these things are just because of this uh, you know exothermic reaction and temperature going on increasing so that's why endothermic people are very happy that's why most of us i think you know if there is an active fellow only problem if inactive fellow there is no problem okay he is anyway inactive <laughs> he may not even laugh also because he may not have even patience to laugh for i think that kind of uh, endothermic reaction so that is why i think uh, anyway this is also very good so all these things may happen that's why we are getting this particular state either go here and then go here and when i told you that when uh, this unstable state is trying to go here then if this is explosion point if this point is explosion point then the entire reactor will explode okay so good so this is fine so then mathematically speaking the condition here why it is stable or here or here okay or here why it is stable that is given is as a q d slope of du dt must be greater than this is the slope criteria this is sufficient condition no oh, no sorry necessary condition necessary condition for stability necessary condition for stability okay so that means if you take uh, these two equations and then you can differentiate this mean okay you can differentiate this and once you differentiate you uh, you uh, if you know all these values you will be knowing definitely e value and also yeah differentiate with respect to t and uh, delta h or all these values you can substitute and then calculate which slope is more right so depending on that value you can find out whether the system is stable or not but that gives you only one condition that is necessary condition but the sufficient condition will be the sufficient condition is doing in terms of process control what do they do for process control they write unsteady state equations first because i told you know all process control people are unsteady state they don't have any business in steady state okay only unsteady state so once you have that unsteady state uh, equations and then you have to expand those terms you know the taylor series and uh, take uh, like the way you do and take uh, the first few terms and then write the equation you get one condition where the change in temperature delta t will be some constant into m1 t plus b into this you should have got many times i am not doing all that m2 t when do you say that the condition will be you know stable the point will be stable when m1 and m2 must be real values are negative right so that is the condition so now you have to do this and you have to also write the material and energy balances and then write the equation you know in terms of the tellis expansion and all that and then bring it to this level and then try to examine what is m1 value what is m2 value if you do that this m1 and m2 contains all these parameters this m1 m2 contains all these parameters like you know delta h or all these things will be there tau v okay all these parameters will be there so then if m1 and m2 are uh, negative real parts or negative real parts if then system is stable this is very good condition because you have to do this this is one condition necessary condition this is sufficient condition both one has to check whether it is really yeah stable or not okay good excellent i think this is nice no yeah this is very nice interesting thing but I, I i tell you if i give the same thing in the examination you will have hell because you don't even know how to plot and if you are going by trial and error okay thinking that okay no i like uh, uh, mathematics and then i will do it but in the examination call you cannot do 
because it is exponential you have to find out three values and you don't know first of all there are three values there may be two sometimes depending on the shape of the curve right so that is why by trial and error if you do don't blame me because you may take 3 hours for one problem okay yeah for one problem you may take 3 hours by trial and error but if you draw the graph correctly you may get quickly you may get provided you also know how to calculate correctly qg qg is the main problem qr is not that problem because straight line fellow all curves are dangerous only straight lines uh, no very happy no problem at all right so that is what as far as examination is concerned so this is what is the condition in fact there is lot of information available on this you know you should have heard of limit cycles okay and also unsteady state uh, you know when process control people analyze this system they start this unsteady state at time t equal to 0 they start until what time it comes to this stable point if that is the point that is there so if this is the point wherever you start so there are lines like this goes 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 and goes, finally goes to this point and you may start this side you may start this side. this side means you know, low temperatures high temperatures different flow rates all that okay so that phase diagrams are beautifully given wherever you start how this comes to finally to your stable point and there are also you know things called uh, limit cycles i have not gone through all that because i think my interest is just to expose you to this and then move to residence time distributions because we are losing time now right yeah so that's why i just want to point out all these things for to you those who are more interested because that goes into process control i mean i, I told you if we would have started with uh, definitions already known very well that means first second third fourth fifth chapters of lewin spiel is completed i should have started with sixth or seventh chapter then we should have done all this i also should have enjoyed that but i think now it is more fundas and also exposure to as much as possible okay that real things that are necessary so that is the reason why i am not able to go to that kind of analysis in terms of unsteady state otherwise it is not only the business of uh, process control people even though i am telling many times but it is also reactor design engineer duty to find out whether the system is stable or not and if you use only one condition that may not be sufficient okay so that may be necessary but i think that condition again may not guarantee stability okay yeah so that is the reason why ha huh? condition condition proved what is that create sufficient condition proved ah huh? then why do we need the necessary condition yeah i mean see when you are starting this in the beginning itself no problem but as a chemical engineer i mean sorry as a reactor engineer what do i do first i design the steady state reactor and then i go for unsteady state okay to check whether only for in this case right so that is the reason why i am uh, telling this one first because my idea is first to calculate what is steady state temperature now go to the analysis so at that time if i say that yes i have one more point yes this is necessary i mean a necessary condition this is stable right and this is problem for me because uh, i mean i can do as a second step this one to find out whether guaranteed stability or not okay good and for endothermic reaction this kind of things will not happen why endothermic reaction this kind of uh, thing will not come into picture at all mathematically also you can tell what will be the value of uh, dqg by dt for uh, endothermic section system zero zero sir you can say zero is negative huh? negative negative okay and what will be what will be the slope dq or by dt is nothing but slope no will it be any time negative extend extend brain a little bit i say expand the brain it's always positive why ua cannot be negative and fi cpi cannot be negative i think you know that kind of expansion must be there in the brain i say or only simply nodding hands and uh, i mean heads and all that i think you know that expansion when does that come catching fire okay immediately before before the teacher tells that you should have told the answer at this point of time you know it is very easy i told you you know can it be negative and you have the equation it is straight there and that is why the physics unfortunately uh, unfortunately is missing whenever in in all the subjects and you are interested only in of course in examinations that's all many of you may be thinking that whether this fellow gives 
this problem in the examination or not. If it is not in the examination, I will switch off the brain. If it is as if there is a lot of things in the brain, so switching off because I think too much loading and all that is a problem, right? I think this can take you know this is only we have now one terabyte uh, GB, right? As the hard disk, only one terabyte increased. More than one terabyte also available, ah, uh, but this one has infinite terabyte. But if you have willingness to accept, willingness to learn, then only it has terabyte. Any um, unlimited terabyte. But if you are restricting to only examinations all the time, that will be only 256 MB. That's why it will never grow more than that. 256 is saying, but half of that also came in the beginning. Huh? I think only 256 I saw the minimum one. Huh? 64 numbers also was there, huh? yeah. So that's all. Okay, so that's why I think maybe at PhD and MS, MTech, maybe that goes to 256, oh, a little bit more. So that's why don't imagine all the time examinations and all that. Okay, good. So this is the one what we have about this one, and uh, so that's why endothermic reaction is not a problem. Another question I ask is why I have not talked anything about uh, plug flow, but why I am talking about only mixed flow? Is it possible to have multiple steady states even in plug flow? No expansion, only 256, maybe 64 no. MB or 32 MB or 16 MB. Huh? Yeah, but there is a condensed variation of temperature. Uh, so, what will happen? So, there, there can be steady state in between. Why not? Heat removal is not possible. So, so, what happens? Okay, it is varying continuously. So, heat removal is not huh? Heat removal is there. You put outside jacket. But, Infinite. Anyone is interested in uh, control here, or all may be interested in control? No. Huh? Yeah. Those who are taking, I think, PhD. Huh? Ah, Rahul. Rahul. Why? The fact that we have not uh, discussed that, you know, there must not be any problem. I am asking why. Puja, what area is yours? Huh? Rheological. Oh, rheological. So you are not uh, very uh, natural. Uh, <laughs> only rheology. She always flows. Reshmi control. Huh? Reshmi. Reshmi control, yeah. Reshmi control. I saw only PAD control or something. <laughs> but now this has become Reshmi control. <laughs> huh? Yeah. Shall I give one uh, word? Yes, sir. It depends on the feedback. Now we can get tell, raise me. You cannot measure temperature. At, uh, measure temperature. Why oh, yeah, I cannot measure temperature? Different. Yeah, I mean any number of thermocouples I can put beautifully. I can measure. Because here, whatever temperature fluctuations are there, that is going as feedback to the reactor and then slowly it is increasing. But what will happen in a continuous flow where across, along the length of the reactor, if there is a temperature fluctuation, what will happen to that temperature fluctuation, Abhijit? You told like this, so I thought you understood. <laughs> yeah, it is just washed out. So, any, that means there is no feedback, no? So, there is no point for the uh, yeah, accumulation of the heat there. Yeah, but here the heat that is which is about to go out will be brought back and then mixed with the feed. That is why it is called back mixing reactor. Okay? So, that is why this happens inside. And temperature uh, multiple steady states is not a problem with uh, yeah, normal plug flow, but we have another problem there what is called parametric sensitivity in terms of uh, plug flow and also batch reactor. Batch reactor also same problem. In time forward it moves. Okay? But I think that is what Ramakrishna has done. I think none of you solved that problem. Did you solve? The batch reactor problem which I gave you. No, no, not simple adiabatic batch. Non isothermal adiabatic batch. Nena reactor. Nena reactor none of you solved. Yeah, the first. I, I am not about asking about quiz. I am talking about batch reactor which I gave you in the class for adiabatic system, yeah, but did you buy, do this by trial and error? 
yeah no no u a u that's what i'm telling adiabatic only you solved some of you but you don't even know that there is a problem for non adiabatic which i gave you that's why i think it is zero mbi is so not even 64 yeah absolutely no storage space there yeah so then he has done it and he found that at one point the temperature will shoot up all the time you know normally what you expect when you have non isothermal it has to go to maximum and then fall but that will not happen in cstr uh, sorry in mi mixed flow in batch reactor and plug flow because you will get that point only under one ua condition ua heat removal because that is the parameter we i have given you to change right but i also gave you in fact uh, how much is 2 4 or something like that yeah Start increasing till 111. Sir. Yeah, 111 UA. UA. So then only you could get increasing and yeah. decreasing. That will be stable points. I mean, not stable. So uh, that will be maximum. It will reach and then fall. But here, a small change in UA will be shooting up. You know, that's called parametric sensitivity. That means by chance there is a small temperature change. Okay, the, uh, along the line of parametric sensitivity, it goes up and shoots up. Okay. so i'm not able to do that because again you know my time in you know, other portions i have to do that i just want to mention first of all in plug flow reactor you will not get multiple steady states under normal conditions as a going to r and all that okay yeah so then i think again uh, i don't know about what happens in auto catalytic in plug flow okay yeah so but uh, this one uh, uh, in nor uh, for normal reactions plug flow will not have multiple steady states but you have another problem called parametric sensitivity that is the problem what you will have there so that means there will be uncontrollable parameters after some conditions okay at some conditions that also one has to find out okay that is only the problem there and uh, very beautiful information is available by amundsen you know amundsen is another grandfather of ours mathematical methods in uh, chemical engineering there are books you know three books by iris and amundsen okay so i think amundsen was the uh, actually this multiple steady states first found out by fan hardin i think two hardin huh? maybe another e also is there i don't know anyway i'll just put that yeah fan hardin He is from Netherlands. Netherlands is also a beautiful place for uh, for uh, chemical engineering. In fact, the chemical reaction engineering name came from Netherlands. I told you, no, you would have forgotten again. Zero MB. Okay, in the first few classes, I told that. And who was the person also? I gave name. Name of the person who told chemical reaction engineering. How beautifully he coined that name. Okay. Yeah, I think I have to stop here, but I think still I am not able to complete this also. So I have to tell one more, uh, one or two things about this. Like for example, adiabatic case, what will happen? U A is zero. This U A will be zero. Then you will have only these two. So then this must be equal to that equation equal to Q R. Adiabatic case. This is zero. This is zero. Must be equal to this. Will you get a multiple steady states? Why no? Yes. Why yes? Poor Ali. Why yes? Because the line will still be there. Excellent. Not only line will be there, but QG will be there as usual. QG. QG S shape or curve will be any anyway will be there. Okay. So that is why only this uh, slope will be different now because U A is U A term is not there. That uh, intercept also, you know, that T C and all that is not there. I mean, intercept will be there, but is only this term. Only this term. T not okay, yeah, FI uh, CPI T not. So that's why even for adiabatic case also you will get multiple steady states. Okay, good. I think we'll stop here because you have to go to class now.